Classroom activity 38. What's my problem? First, write down some common problems that students face. It could be that they don't get enough sleep or it could be that they always fight with their brother or it could be that they don't study for a test. Write down all these problems on the board. While you write out these problems, let some students write it down on post-it notes as you are writing it down on the board. Once you've got enough problems for all the students in the class, take these notes and randomly place them on a student's back. Then the class mingles. They walk around and ask their friends, what's my problem? Their friend takes a look at their problem and then gives them advice. They may not tell them directly what their problem is, but they should give some advice. And from that advice, the student can figure out what their problem is. Maybe you should always pack your bag at night. At the end of the activity, they can guess what their problem is. Classroom activity 39, the M&M &M game. I've played this game a lot. In a group, give them a small packet of M&Ms and once they pick an M&M, they have to talk about a certain topic for one minute before they can eat that M&M. Now, what do they talk about? It depends on the color of the M&M. If it's blue, they talk about a hobby. If it's brown, they talk about a wish they have. Yellow is about their family or their friends. Orange is about a vacation they took in the past. And red is about anything they want to talk about. This is a great activity for the students to get to know each other or if you just want to share some treats with them. Classroom activity 40. A day in the life. Put the students into groups, they play rock, paper, scissors, and that student has to leave the room. Then the group has to make up a fictitious schedule for the student about what they did that day. You can write it on the board, for example, a day in the life. So what did that student do from 8 to 12, 12 to 2, 2 to 6, 6 to 10, and 10 to 12. It doesn't have to be 100% correct. Tell them to make it fun and interesting and write it down somewhere. Then the student comes back into the class and he or she has to guess what they did during that time period. If they wrote down from 8 to 12 he went scuba diving, when he comes back he has to ask them questions to figure out what he did. So he can ask yes or no questions, he can ask specific members, he can ask the whole group. This is a fun way for the students to think about their schedules and to imagine what they could do with their time.